Hi folks, this is my battery box, this is a finished article, um, it's done and dusted now, so I never weighed it, but uh, you can lift it with one hand, I'll probably say around about the, I don't know, I'm guessing 10, maybe 8 to 10 kilo mark, so really tough, um, cracking box, really nice waterproof box, so here we go, open it up, we've got First of all, the top foam here, um, which has got hidden in it some spare fuses, and also this wee thing here, which is a, an adapter, cigarette lighter adapter to a USB, which we can use in here. There we go, and just switch that on. There it goes. Uh, if I'm not using it, we can just pop it in there and stick it back in the in the lid. So, anyway, that's the cigarette lighter adapter. Um, we've got a fuse which you'll have seen from the last one, uh, just an inline fuse. That is purely for this section here, not these. We've got a, a voltmeter for checking the voltage on the, the batteries in there, and we've got a USB socket as well, which is 1 amp and 2.1 amp, uh, just for charging phones and bits and bobs. Uh, we can switch it on and off, so that's off the now, it's on. So the lights should be on in here, which they are. Um, we can check the, the meter anytime we want, with voltage and battery, which is 11.9, as we can see there. I've got a, an external source as well, which we've got the negative and the positive here, which is directly attached to the battery via an inline 10 amp fuse. Um, should we want to charge it this way, or for something along these lines kind of thing, you know, where uh, maybe we want to run a, a light or a, anything really. So, for example here, um, we'll just put a wee bulb in there and... There we go, we can run this, but we can also charge it via these as well, so that's that. Inside, if we put it off, inside we've got, it's all foamed up now, so let me just show you this, I'll just rest it here somewhere, it's quite good, the foam is as well positioned, these are just a couple of wee bit extras just to take some of the, this pressure from the surface. Um, I've used closed cell foam, which is waterproof in itself. Um, 12 amp hour, 12 amp hour, both 12 volts in parallel, which has given me 24 amp hour, 12 volts, which is a lot of battery power. Um, like I say, I've just closed cell foam, just uh, filled it out with that, so it doesn't. The batteries don't move at all; they're absolutely solid. Um, so I can just to show you what I'm doing when I'm putting it down. Uh, is th these are fairly tight. Probably need to take a wee trim off of them. I'm just pop it, popping them in here, and just putting the the lid back on. So I did say before there's a wee step round the outside, so that sits on the wee step. There we go, and it's pretty sturdy as you can you can see here. It ain't going anywhere, um, which is awesome, fantastic, uh, that's me finished it now, so I hope you like this, cracking me build, I love it, and that's my battery box, catch you later guys.